Hello, Card Community. It's RJ back with another video. Let's get right to it. Today's random Mike Schmidt collectible of the day is kind of a big one. In other words, big as in size. This here is a street sign. One of those collectible things you get all the time. Put up in your man cave. I picked this up a long time ago, back when I first started getting back into baseball cards. It's a real thick, I mean, it's heavy steel, the kind you'd actually see on a street if it was ever posted, but it's never even been up on any of my walls because I've never had a place to put it, never uh, had a man cave to put it in. So it's just been in corners everywhere but at least i have a mike schmidt drive street sign so that's just a little cool little thing i got i mean you can get those for every player team whatever in a thousand different locations that's my mike schmidt one today's random baseball collectible um a lot of people have asked about my background kind of like, oh, gee, that's a cool background. Where'd you get it? Frankly, I thought it was pretty obvious when you take a look at what you can see. Every time, if you see my my background, you'll see that there's a, a flat um, surface here and then the 3D background there. But you can always see here and here the words championship baseball. And if you were to zoom in real close, game by milton bradley this was actually a game and i have here the box produced in 1987 by milton bradley it was a baseball game most collectors know this because of that those cards right there that made up the um they provided the action for the set, for, for, for the game. And these cards, you'll see, if you're a set collector or a player collector, you'll see these available all the time. It had some of the greats of the day. Um, you know, I'm just going to thumb through them. And I got this specifically as a set collector to get the cards. Uh, once I found out that uh, it was an enti the entire game and the game came with all the cards, it actually came with most of the pieces. Um, if you look at the back there, one of the uh, turntables for the scoring is missing. So uh, I haven't got, um, I think it's the outs one. The outs is just red. I don't think I have all of the pieces to the scoreboard and whatnot, but the championship baseball game for Milton Bradley is where I got my background from. Here's what it looks like when it's all set up and there, there's players involved and the pieces are all, all running. It gives you a list here. If you want to pause and see who the individuals are, you know, you had to, you had to field a full team every game and they gave you a couple different positions at each you know a couple different choices at both positions so this is a random collectible actually it's 1984 take a look at that copyright date down there 1984 championship baseball and here is the box that is where i got my background from so all right today's trivia question um i'm going to show you a card real quick this here's a card from 1992, Upper Deck. Now, it's just a Ryan uh, checklist card from the Texas Rangers. And it's a, a, a painting by an individual. If you remember Don, Donruss back in the day, Donruss had the Diamond Kings collection. Uh, every year the, the set came out and they produced a series of cards first 26 were called the diamond kings collection and each was a rendering a paint a portrait of a star player of the time done by dick perez upper deck when they started producing cards in 89 
and through the early years of 19 of the 1990s into about 93 I think they stopped was the last year they did it would have a checklist card and other um, highlight cards that were done by an artist uh, you could read the name I'm gonna zoom it in if you can read it this one's a little hard to see which is good because this is my question to you what was the name of the artist who did Upper Deck's cards, and what connection does he have to an actual baseball player? That's my question to you. Who did the artwork for the early Upper Deck team checklists and other highlight cards, and what connection does that individual have to a baseball player? The prize for that will be, I think this is a pretty good uh, prize, a 2021 Topps Project 70 Hank Aaron card. I uh, saw this for sale. I thought, well, Hank Aaron is such an iconic person. I have to get this card. Well, I didn't just get one. I got several. They had a deal where you get five. And I knew I wanted to use this as a prize giveaway a couple times, maybe even uh, sell one of these in the future. But I just thought the card looked spectacular. I mean, just look at that image of Hank Aaron. It's absolutely amazing. And, you know, the artwork, it's a, it's a nice crisp artwork by an artist named Matt McCormick. I just think that this is the way, you know, I've seen a lot of, you know, the Ermsey card's a little far out. Some of the other cards have been a little bizarre. But this one's just a really, really sharp and nice card. And I uh, snagged a couple of these. So this is the prize. It still has the original packing. And it says Project 78. It'll, it'll even be sent in the, the bubble wrap that it came in. So tell me, who was the individual, what was the name of the artist who created the Upper Deck Checklist of the late 80s, early 90s, and what connection does he have to a baseball player? Now, a uh, quick video today. I have a um, mail day that I want to show you. This here was my prize winning for Austin F. Um, here's off to Austin's pack. RJ, congrats on winning my giveaway contest. Uh, I hope you enjoy your prizes. Thanks for your participation in the contest. Sincerely, Austin F. And I'm going to show you some of the cool things that I got. Austin F's highlights, mostly autograph cards. Co so you can be sure that what you're about to see is heavy on the autographs, but there's other cool things in here too. Just wanted to highlight these with you. All right, numbered out of 150, here's 48 out of 150. It is a, a Drew Romo card uh, from Elite. Not even sure when this is, 2018 Panini Elite. I don't even know if Drew Romo made it to the majors, but it doesn't really matter. Having an on-card, also a sticker auto, having a sticker and autograph of any player is always a fun thing. So this is a cool card. Here's one of Josh Jung from the uh, Texas Rangers. This is an on-card auto. It's a Bowman Chrome version. This one, I'm trying to look at the date. Looks like 2020 I can't really read it if you get it let's see if we can get in there real close can I use the zoom lens on this thing to read it uh, I think it's 2018 Josh Jung I don't know if he ever made it to the majors I don't pay much attention to prospects unless they're big and huge names here's a cool one this is looks like another this is like a leaf from Zach Delorch I don't know how you'd want to say that down there. Zach Delorch. Very uh, sparkly. Looks like a cracked ice kind of a thing. Yeah, and this is uh, from Leaf. I'm going to try and zoom in real quick on the uh, year. Looks like 2020 to me, but uh, I'm sure you guys would know better. I don't see a number on this one. 
I remember looking through um, Kevin's cards a couple of weeks ago, and I looked through, I th thought there was no number, but there was uh, here, or maybe it was another thing, but there's no number I can see on this one, but it's, again, it's a, it's a sticker auto, but it's a really cool auto. It's just awesome to have autos. Phil Hughes is from Phil's Pulls. If you know Phil Hughes, I believe that's who's doing, who does uh, Phil's Pulls was Phil Hughes, former pitcher for the Yankees. That's kind of cool. This is his Topps Archives. You see the little gold thing in the corner there. On cart auto. Let's see when this one was done. I don't know if this is actually from uh, this archive, so it would be I think it's 2020 Tops Archives insert. But it doesn't, sound, doesn't make sense it would be 2020 because I don't think this style. Oh, it was. Yeah, 20, 2002 was part of the Tops Archives from last year, 2020. But this is Archives fan favorites autographs. It's a really cool card. Somebody I know. <laughs> Mostly because he's a YouTuber too, but he did play in the, in the major leagues. And then this one was a special one. Very interesting. What I have here. Numbered out of 50. 35 out of 50. This is a parallel version. Tops, I don't know. I guess it's an insert. Uh, 53 design, it says. 53. 53 Bowman. Maybe this is a Bowman uh, insert. Because I don't recognize the um, thing. But it's Joe Adele. So I got a card out of 50 of Joe Adele, which is fantastic if you consider his potential as a star right now. So this was the one that wasn't autographed, but you know, if you give me a Joe Adele out of 50, I'm going to be a happy camper all day long. So those were my winnings from Austin F's contest a while back. I'm going to put a link in my video to show you my uh, entry video for when I sent that. Actually, I mean, it, it, it's, it's in the links below because I, I mean, it's in my series of videos because every time I post a video for a contest, I put it here and then I send a link to that, um, to that video by putting it in the comments of the individual who's running the contest. So the, I'm sure the video is below, but I'll put it in the description here so you don't have to go searching for it. And, uh, just want to give a shout out, like I said, to Austin F. Hope he can do a lot better in getting more and more subscribers. It was a fantastic contest. I'm glad I entered. Always nice to win. Um, quick video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember the contest question? Who was the individual who did all the artwork for Upper Deck in the early years? What is his connection to a baseball player? And I'll send out the Hank Aaron Project 70 card. So... Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, a little look into some of my stuff. Thanks for watching and take care.